the stream. I have just found a temple that isn't the right temple. It wasn't the temple I'm looking for. But it was a temple. And now I'm gonna beat up a bully. Always wanted to beat up bullies when I was young. Hopefully it'll now come to... Hmm... Very nice. I've started- I've- I've started thinking. What would be my next challenge after Divinity? What do you guys think? I've been thinking about FTL, hard mode, every ship. What do you think about FTL? Or Ascendant, True Victory? Which one would you prefer? Ascendant or Divinity? I mean, Ascendant or FTL? Alright, let's just AoE the shit out of these guys. There's a lot of them. And I mean a lot. Nice jumps! Fireball comes next turn. Now Medora... I think she just wants to wait. Tribnix says FTL. Yeah, you do like FTL, don't you? I know. I know. FTL could be interesting. I've been looking at my YouTube, and the FTL videos are amongst the most watched. Firewoofer would love FTL. So many people would like FTL. I think I'm gonna do FTL after this, yeah. Yeah. Every time I play FTL, I get lots of positive feedback and responses and, and uh, attention. It's still a very desirable game to watch. I th yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. Just do a big FTL run every single day. And some of the ships are gonna be so hard, like Slug B with a healing bomb. What the hell? So it's gonna take me a while. Still. I... It's probably not gonna take me as long as Divinity did. Chris already going to school? Oh, balls, man. I'm gonna be starting my uh, weekend crap school in... Uh, more than a month from now, and you are already getting going. My goodness. They are pushing you hard. But I guess after your school, there's actual employment and education and skill. Whereas my crap school just gives me the status of a student and is like officially teaching me something. Wait, the wolf is... Ah, it was just a... Buffing spell. I, he looked as if he was trying to spit out a fireball of his mouth. So I'm like, what the hell is happening? Alright, I can charge no more than four, apparently. I think I'm gonna be okay with four. And this is the end of the, the first turn. In the second turn now, I may be able to do some nice spinning attack. Oh. Let's deal with the hasted warm lady. Oh. I'm not sure I like that combo. So if I put her like closer here together, then she should be more vulnerable to what Medora will do. But I, f I forgot I was planning to do a fireball this turn. Well, shit. I guess that will have to wait. I'm hitting three. Yeah, I, I believe I'm gonna go a little bit lower down. Hitting four now. I think the wolf can still get hit. And five. Bam! Hell yeah. Oh. 
Oh no, Medora! Knockdown failed on Medora, very good. But they are very resistant actually to Earth. Let's not try that again. Let's stick to ice. Medora will probably find some ice puddle to slip on. If I know her. Well, at least it's in it's intense, Chris. So I guess by not shit, I I meant intense. While the methods may not be perfect, they are trying to teach actual stuff. I guess my school is trying to teach actual stuff as well. It's just my attitude prevents it. Oh, my my browser just crashed. To be more specific, Shockwave Macromedia Flash just crashed. I guess I'm not gonna be able to see myself. If there are random uh, balls and dicks flying around the screen, do let me know, because I don't see my actual preview screen right now. I'm relying on your honesty. Um, in terms of warning me. Um, if something looks really not the way it's supposed to. I think my decapitator can handle a little bit of fireballing. Wait, did these guys actually get healed by fire? Is that what happened? Oh. No, I think they got healed by poison that they bled or something. Yeah, they're kind of resistant to that, never mind. Madora is fresh out of AoE, unless you count nullify resistances. Yeah, I'm going for it. No, there's one more AoE I've got. And that's the Winter Blast. Now that's totally gonna freeze my skeleton. Isn't it? Oh, he's already frozen. Doesn't even matter anymore. I just need a new one soon. Oh, Diego, welcome back! Why did I not notice your message before? I'm back after a really nice match on CS, where the worst one in our team was just raging. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't always have a calming effect, Diego. Maybe right now I'm just chilling, killing 10 guys at the same time. Sometimes I don't have a chilling effect, but I guess this time I do. So maybe you are in the right place. And they shot the one I charmed, I believe. I wish I had more spinning attacks with Medora. I guess oh, an explosive arrow could could be an AoE I'm looking for. Eh, I, I don't know, not really. I guess it does, yeah. I'll take that. Awesome. Joyful's just gonna summon, and... Maybe next turn he will walk forward. Medora will find herself a nice 100% target. And hit it! Disappeared. I guess he is undead. I need a new decapitator. And then, how is my frost on on cooldown? I thought this was available every turn. Maybe she's slowed or something. No. Hmm. I thought my frost will always be available. Oh well. I guess I could bless everyone. for a 100% chance to hit. And the 
elemental. Come on, his resistances are nullified. Just finish him off. And then... Finish this guy off. This guy's untouched. <laughs> they are both untouched. They, they were smart enough to stay away. Wow, this guy has can knock someone down to the ground. So good. This decapitator is so good. Alright, I'm gonna drink some cooling beverage. That isn't even from the fridge. I don't like drinking from the fridge. But it has a really nice citrus taste. And it's going to replace whatever food I didn't eat during the break. And it's gonna be perfectly fine for me to just keep going. Joyful, how about you get right in there? And start stabbing. Wait, what? Oh. Until there's... What? And he turned around as well. You gotta be shitting me. What is this? Yeah, that's the good damage. And then I walked some more. Come on. Come on! That's good damage. I just want to deal it. Man, Joyful really makes me work for that damage I want to deal. He makes me work for it. Mm, I got some more. Don't hit Joyful now! Ah, oh, shit. I froze my decapitator. I need to summon a new one again. I guess I only have an elemental available now. Oh well. Sorry, decap. Oh, he's still there! Oh no, that's Medora. Oh, okay, but I didn't freeze Medora. That's okay. It's all fine. Maybe I should hit the Frozen with Frost. Because Frozen probably lowers his resistances to Frost. Hmm. Maybe my stream is so chilled out. Because I usually drink water instead of beverages. Like other streamers with their Red Bulls and stuff. Just makes them rage, the beverage. Now I'm not dealing as much damage. I guess he's frozen, so he gains armor. Going down, sir. You're going down. All I need. Is to freeze my own guys, I guess. Good, I froze their guys. Now, they're not very vulnerable to poison, are they? Yeah, see, poison is just... And Geomancer, I liked Geomancer in the early stages of the game. But there's just so many things that are in invulnerable. I can't reach. It's right there. That is so weird. Oh well. Oh. Yeah, if you're starting a, a new game, you, your skills aren't all set yet. I would actually recommend you to not get any Geo. Focus on, on fire and... Ice? Yeah. Fire, ice, electricity is okay. The, the, the ability to teleport can really save you in some, some cases. 
to take an enemy, push an enemy back, to grab a mage forward, and then smash him with Medora. Teleport is really nice from the from the Geomancer, but I mean from the Aero Third, but Geomancer mm, not as nice. I just killed my elemental. That's not nice either. Okay, that poking. It's not gonna bring the desired result. Let's just poke with an elemental. That bull really hangs in there. Come on. There you go. Oh, look at this. A chest dropping out of the sky just because I won. How old school. Oh, and then the sun just fell down. How old school. Let's get a NATO to clear up the ice. Anything I'm interested in? Nothing I'm interested in. Nah. Alright, let's actually refresh my browser. And I have no idea what's happening with the CLR chat. Like, why is it removing the messages? I may need to reapply it completely before the next stream, or maybe during a break, or before the next segment, sometime. Um. No, I, I may need to reapply it completely before the next stream, or maybe. Oh, I can break. hear myself. I'm like, do I hear the demon talking? No, that's just myself. I would assume there's something really important here. Oh, Cassandra! I thought there was the demon here, Ah, What do I spy? A living, breathing something, it seems. You dare to approach me here, mortal? Don't you know who I am? Don't you know what I do? Why don't you tell me? The sister of the king, of course. The phantom of the woods, of course. The mother of the corpse, of course. The ruler of the dead, of course. I am Cassandra, queen of the Phantom Forest, and you, you have come where you are not welcome. You say you are the sister of the king, which king do you mean? The only king, Bracchus Rex. He rules all of Rivalon, and I, his double, ruled too, for a time at least. We were forged together by our very souls. All that was his, his was mine, and all that was mine, his. But it's no wonder you haven't heard of me. He's gouged me from, hi from history, one statue, one tablet, one scroll at a time. But make no mistake, I live. Strange, isn't it? How a love greater than the gods themselves can tear you from time. But time matters little to me anymore. No, it flows past me, unfelt as light upon a blind eye. Donna! Welcome! Would you- Oh, you would like some Mafia. Alright. You say your brother removed you from history. Why would he do such a thing? To hide his weakness. To conceal his greatest misdeed. My brother was a kind ruler before he became a rabid tyrant. But his descent into madness was swift. The power he gained. And with it, a terrible fear of death that hounded him ceaselessly, night and day. He stationed a hundred guards outside his bedchamber and mine, but still he kept awake all night, expecting assassins. He soon determined that he must diminish his risk. I, his sister, forged to his soul, was his greatest liability. My death would spell his, and so he sought to break the bond between us. Oh, and he did it? Did he break your soul forge? My brother is a clever sort. Once he sets his mind on a task, it's good, it's good as done. So Bracchus Rex accomplished it, and now Conduit wants to do the same. Bracchus discovered that while we lived, the forge could not be broken, but this did not deter him, no. For Bracchus, 
there are only temporary difficulties, and so he turned me into an immortal creature, living, yes, but wedded to death, a lish destined to roam, ever half alive amongst the world of the living. We were lost to one another, we who had walked hand in hand through all of life, we who shared each thought, each trial with perfect understanding between us. I was cast out and aside, and Bracchus, empowered by his new freedom, went on to rule. But I've never forgotten his betrayal, no, I've spent centuries searching, searching until the perfect solution appeared before me. How better to have guaranteed my brother hated his own cold, cruel heart than to make him feel my torment. I discovered how to restore our soul fort, and I determined to, blind our, to bind our souls once more. The torment of the never-arriving grave would have haunted him, as it haunts me. The pain his betrayal caused me would have been his to savor. But in the end, my brother found a worse fate than any I could have devised. Source king that he was, Bracchus was stricken down, not once but twice. First deposed, then resurrected and defeated once more. I can think of no finer torture than for that proud madman than to come to the cusp of glory, only to be cast back down for all time. I'm glad, you he I'm glad to hear the news of your brother's fate pleases you, for it was I who slew Bracchus as he rose from his grave. Is that so? You, a frail mortal, laid low the internal crown of Bracchus Rex. How sinfully inglorious, yes, how humiliating for the so-called Lord of Chaos to find himself run through by a slave to aid an order. I do believe tanks are in order. To show my gratitude, I will allow you to roam my woods at your own discretion. This is no mean feat for that I swear to tolerate the stench of your living flesh, mortal. Take it as a tremendous honor. You said you discovered how to restore a soul forge. I'd be much indebted to you if I if you could share this information with me. Is that so? And how I might weigh the debt of a mortal? Could you do more for me than, say, a boar, a wolf? Do your kind not serve me best when the lovely blush of rot swells the around your delicate hide? Still, I do suppose there could be an arrangement, yes. There is but still one debt. I have yet to collect from within your world of the living, a debt I am most eager to settle. There is a creature whose very existence pains me, a monster whose devilish fangs are cunning, and cunning mock both life and death. It slinks as a shade through the world of the living, an abomination of life, yet no aspect of death. You must destroy it if you wish to gain what you seek. Leave nothing left but the path, but a patch of filthy fur and one gawking blue eye. Kill Aru, the devil itself in feline form. Aru? Aru? What do you mean, Aru? He sneaked where he wasn't welcome. He took what wasn't his. Gems belonging to me and me alone. Sore sapphires of the rarest kind. Steal from the queen he would. Do justice must be done. Kill the wizard. Kill the cat. When I am avenged, you'll earn your prize. Where do I find Aru now? Really? Oh, man. Of all the things she could have asked me to kill... Aru. <laughs> wow. No, is he still in Sizzle? Oh, nice. Now that I found the portal, I can just check in Sizzle, but I don't think he's gonna be there. Well, he's not a real cat, Tribnik. And I would prefer not to kill him. If there's ever a, a, a chance to not kill a cat, I'd rather not. 
to be perfectly honest with you. Let's see if he's home. That would be the easy way of doing things. If he's in a cave behind some more constructs, that would be the hard way of doing things. But let's first try the easy way. Oh, there you go. Level 20! Haru? Horse Hunter, welcome, welcome! Can I talk to you before I... Oh, okay, you've got... Nothing to say. He's got nothing to say, guys. nothing to say. Well, I'll be damned. Mm. The Earth Elemental could be a valuable ally. Not even a, a. Oh shit, but now I'm blessing him. Well, if there's no peaceful way of doing things. I guess I'll just have to do the daggers drawn. Oh, that hurt! Please be more careful! With what? Maybe. Aru is in many places. I mean. Can I even hurt him? He does take damage. But look at his HP. He doesn't give a crap. It's impossible for me to kill him now. I guess, then, f first of all, he's level 20, so... It's kind of wishful thinking to... To attempt to do it now. Also, maybe I'll meet him once more on my journey, and then he will have something to say for himself. I can't believe Aru actually is... Well, maybe we'll talk this through. Now, what may be hiding here? A demon, I hope? No? What is this? Well, it doesn't say. I may as well just go in. this
What is this? Is that the credits or something? Did I win the game? Understand. What have you got stashed in here, Mrs. Cottontail? But let's actually use my uh, bloodstone now. Oh, I thought the bloodstone would kill everyone. Shit. All right. I guess I'm just gonna use it on joyful. Well, I don't know what the hell just happened, Football Eddie. I'm confused. This is my confused face. <laughs> what the hell? Like, what is there to be excited about? I don't even Let's understand what happened. As powerful as it is sinister. But I'm still rotten? No, okay. Oh, now everybody's healed. Maybe they just needed to stand close together. Alright, good to go. Good to go. Madora isn't carrying any more Tenebrium, right? I wouldn't just keep it on her. Oh, God. If I don't move it, maybe she's not gonna get rotten again. Why am I even carrying Tenebri more? That's stupid. No reason. I just got here and I thought you beat the game. Ah! So, I guess that's why you expected me to be excited. Now, why is Sun not wearing her armor? What the hell happened to you, Sun? There you go. Don't run around naked in the forest. You're not a nymph. You may as well act like a wizard. Hmm, mm, 18 goblins, huh? Now I need to kill the, the forest demon. And I guess I'm gonna be walking through the nasty temple. No, let's check out here. Oh. 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 I guess this could just deal to lead to the same goblins, but they would be on the other side of the river now. What? Oh. No, son! God damn it! At least I bought more resurrection scrolls from Aru. This is just messed up. <sighs> Every single time.
What is this clickable thing? Why is that clickable? I can't speak Titan language, Onsan. Would you like to converse with me? Translation, greetings, guardian. Greetings. Do you speak the ancient... You speak the ancient tongue? How? Tker, fuck late, titin. I found the Titan dictionary. Tixot, titin. Jgu, txiu, fuckle, real, fast, fast, orm. You speak well, but for you, I will use the modern language, so you may converse freely. Thank you for your consideration. I had hoped you would you could tell me about the Lich Queen, Cassandra. Cassandra? Hers is a tragic tale. She was once the Lady of the Realm. The much beloved sister of Brackish Rex. Soulforged were they, and they shared a bond unmatched among mortals. But as Brackus's power grew, so did the distance between him and his sister. He began to see her no longer as an extension of himself, but a liability. If she were to die, Brachus would be dragged into the afterlife alongside her. The powerful king couldn't stand the thought. There is no breaking of a sword of souls, but there are, all, but there are ways, terrible ways, to dance around them. Brachus, an accomplished sorcerer in his own right, decided that he would sever himself from Cassandra at any cost. And so he transformed her into a lish, a half-living, half-dead. Unable to die, she no longer threatened him, but hers was a cursed life. She sought death like a moth seeks the flame, worshipped it as her one and only idol. She fled to these forests where she could find a kind of solitude in which to mourn her fate. Here she clutches death about her like a shroud, and any fool enough to approach her is invited to share her fate. Is there any way to defeat Cassandra? A lish is a lish guardian. Burn its bones, and it becomes vulnerable. The difficulty rests in finding these bones, for their location is the Lish's best kept secret. Her body rests in the Temple of the Dead, where only corpses can enter. Well hidden are her, car her bones, but the careful seeker will surely find them. I guess that's where the story branches out. If I kill Cassandra right now, she's not gonna tell me how to fix the forge, and if she's not gonna tell me how to fix the forge, then I guess my only choice would be to kill the conduit. If I fix the forge, then maybe Ikara can uh, influence her sister to stop the madness. So I guess now comes the question. Now comes the choice. Do I kill the conduit or do I attempt to cure the conduit? through uh, fixing the soul forge. Now if I kill the conduit, Ikara also dies. Which is a shame. Which is a real shame. But honestly... I think the conduit is on a path of no return and uh, she just needs to be put down. Honest. I, I don't think... I don't think anyone with her power, as unstable as she is, should deserve the second chance. Because by giving her the second chance, I'm uh, screwing over everyone who could potentially still die from her power. So I'd rather be fair to all the innocent victims, innocent potential victims of her. Yeah, I'm, I'm burning those bones, I'm saving Aru. And I'm uh, I'm killing the conduit. Why do you call me Guardian? Is that not who you are? We Titans are an ancient race, Guardian. There are certain things we are beginning to remember. Alright. Belagar! What are you doing here, my friend? Welcome! Where are your girls? Okay, Belagar. Mm -hmm. How did it go? Eeny, weeny, miny, moe? 
I don't remember how it goes. Go right ahead. Oh, and there it is. Oh, blast. Myriad of treasures at my fingertips. Oh, I hope you would choose at least. What? Only one? I got, yeah, the best bit blue to smithereens. Fuck, the worst bit. I, I didn't know. Ah, the game fucked me. Alright, I guess I'll have no legendary helmet. Aww. Balagar. God damn bastard. I guess if I first killed Aru, and then she would tell me how to fix the forge, and then I killed her, it would really work out. That makes sense. Helmets are overrated anyway? I actually know, they are really good. That's the problem. I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna cry. Next break, it's the crying break. Alright. Oh. Now that's a lot of empty forest. I shouldn't have said anything, alright. Death Knight, I guess this is the end game. With Death Knights patrolling. But where's the demon then? Where's the one I'm supposed to beat up? Where's the bully demon? This looks like a bully demon place. And this is just gigantic. Much bigger than I thought this forest. What is this? Watchful Eye 17. Okay. I think this is where the demon is. The one I'm supposed to beat up. Oh. Oh. oh! You ain't seen nothing, I. You ain't seen nothing. Was there a fishing village here? Well, that was a long time ago. Obviously, this is uninhabitable. With all the watchful eyes. Um. Um. What do you mean, tweet? What? Cyclops? I thought I would find the demon! What do you mean, tweet? I'll give you a tweet. There's your tweet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was fun, I should do that more. Hello, what are you doing here? I guess they're not in the mood, of, mood for talking. I might as well just kill the guys. I probably shouldn't be here. But I'm just looking for a demon. Have you guys seen any demons? Oh. Oh. See, honestly, Honestly, I, I misplaced my demon and now I just can't find him anymore. Could really use your help. I guess I killed my charm guy. It was a waste of charm. It's 
this Cyclops Moon Dancer? And Cyclops really do come in different shapes and sizes. Wow. I thought it was a goblin. just one group of Cyclops that is randomly just defending the boss. Okay, you die. Oh, you die too? Oh, I didn't even need to do anything. I guess I just zap him. Should have maybe... Teleported him instead closer to Medora. I guess Medora can charge still. And the legendary spacebar misclick. Oh, and the eye. And there doesn't even see me. I believe that's it. What's inside the village? Is it more Cyclops? Oh. Oh. That was fast enough. Let's kill some more. I do need to know what's here. Reapers and an abandoned shack. Whoa, spirit caller, but that's not the demon I'm looking for. Where could he be, the son of a gun? Oh, I could have waited for the infectious flame. I guess it may be available next turn anyway. nice if I could barrage this guy oh. to death before he even moves oh. yeah come on son I knew you had it in you oh. nice experience anyway ten K Oh, destroy summon. Oh, I should have attacked with my summon when I had the chance. That would probably kill Madora or something. Let's just... Not do anything too drastic. I can't just stab him. Huge healing potion. Um, I haven't had a better healing potion for a while. That's useful. That is useful. Um, now, any treasure hunting to be done here? Um, any buttons behind paintings? Um, any important pressure plates? I mean, this is marked on a map. Oh, because there's a cellar. What are you doing to the eyes? Oh. 
Oh, I guess it's Cyclops floaters. What? Shiria! Balberith! I found him! I did find him! It is the demon I'm looking for! Can it be? The Guardians! My word, how? How changed you are, and yet uh, still how gloriously the divine light shines upon you. Now everybody knows who I am. Tell me about yourself. I am one of the ancient... I am one of the ancients of our realm, a spirit of the forest, and the keeper of the arcane knowledge. Since the great change of Source, it has been my mission to care for the creatures, tainted by the darkness of Source, to heal them as best as I could, and to ease their suffering when healing was impossible. When the Lich Queen Cassandra overtook these wounds, I regarded her with pity. Long have I searched for a way to reverse her terrible condition, hoping not only to heal her, but to release her grip upon this forest. But now that Bellibirth has made his home among my charges, savagely feeding upon their fears, my only goal is to survive. When I am gone, the creatures of the forest will have no protection against the evils that threatens them. Why has this demon trapped you here? The fiend seeks to defile all that is good and all that is joyful and natural. No! I was an obvious target. But worse than this, imprisonment is what the beast has taken from me. An ancient rune more valuable than any relic in all of Rivalon. Only myself and the keeper of the source were possessed. Of, the ancient of these ancient runes, and we swore to protect them. So the rune will get me to the temple! The rune grants access to the source temple at the heart of this forest! And within that rune, within that temple, lie the most ancient secrets of the divine. Balber Balbereth uses the rune to grant an intruder access to the temple, and now I fear, I fear all is lost. Can you tell me something about the temple? Getting through the temple is nigh impossible. The trial of ascension allows only the most devout sorcerers into its deepest chambers where the portal to the first garden lies. But I can share with you a secret, a way to circumvent the trial. When you enter the temple, stay close to your right. Eventually you'll run into a weak wall, a well-placed strike will cause it to crumble and you'll find yourself within the High Templar's office. There you'll find the teleportation mirror, which will deliver you to the portal of the, th to the first garden. Alright. I'm certain the intruders at the source temple intend to find that portal. You must stop them before they do. The first garden is the realm of the divines, and who knows what terrible havoc they intend to wreck within, the, within that holy realm. Alright, demon. No more fucking around, I need that rune of yours. And I am intent to take it. Can I pickpocket the bastard? I mean... Ah, goddamn eyes were probably spotting me. Well, what do we have here? You don't look like one of that woman in red, little henchman, now do you? No, there's a far more noble soul resting snug inside that skin, isn't there? Face me, demon! Release your grip upon this realm! Release my grip? But you've got it quite backward, darling. I'd much rather feel your bones snap within it, my fist than let a one of you go. Face me, demon! I shall fight you! Slaves and torment in puddles of elements. Eight thousand HP. Two thousand. It seems. Like, a good idea would be to kill the little ones first. Oh, are you serious? Oh, nope. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 Oh, crap. 
No, that was just badly aimed. All right. Yeah, that may not be easy. A little down. Actually, a fireball will detonate the poison puddle. Seems more reasonable. Yeah, but immune to fire then, all right. And then Medora will happily take out this one, I expect. Hit him! Hit him! Ooh, 800! That's what I like. Go have some fun with Hanski. Thanks for dropping by. Always a pleasure. They do seem to need a blessing, my guys, but I need the decapitator even more. Oh, <laughs> Diego. <laughs> nice to hear. Nice to hear indeed. Now, if I freed those guys, would they actually fight on my side? I wonder if I can. I mean, there, there's no door, is there? Oh. I'm getting real lucky so far with my hits. Not a single miss, and the percentages aren't that good. Now, they are just scared for now. But I think he may be uh, feeding off of them in some way. So if I kill them, maybe his source of healing or, or, or power will dwindle. But that is just messed up. Let's just shoot this guy. It's obviously the way to go. The decapitator can totally take care of him. Yeah. Just zap him. Zap him! 400, very nice. Now maybe I want to use teleport on that guy, so let's not use it here. Let's get an elemental. I, I think you just need to try a little harder, Mutansky, these days. <laughs> what? Missed both. Son is scared. Why is Sun scared? Damn it. This fight may not be easy. Oh, and now I have learned how to miss. All right. Oh, uh, all of them are immune to fire. Ow. Oh, so... Nice logic, Joyful Rogue. He's immune to my fire projectiles, so my fiery melee skill will work better. Yeah, right, except it doesn't. Whoa, destroying the minion again. God damn it. God damn it, Moondancer. He was my friend. No, the slave did not die. He's gonna die next turn automatically, so I guess it doesn't matter now. Let's pop this guy. Oh, come on. With the wall shots. I would like you to come a little closer. Don't be shy. I'm just gonna murder you. Oh. It won't hurt after I do it. Alright, screw charging, I guess. Yeah, let's just keep popping this guy. He's stunned, so it's 100%. Now, did he lose some of his HP, I wonder? 
Uh, not really. I'm not sure what he lost, but there was a obvious visual effect associated with it. Now let's do that blessing, because my chances to hit are piss poor. And uh, unload on the Moon Dancer, I would say. Let's see how... Oh, he's got 80% resistance, I remember, from checking him out. So the Fire Elemental isn't exactly the perfect choice here, unless Madora nullifies his resistances. Did he get healed? He did get healed. Okay, it's there's no point of, of ever attacking him. Until I kill his minions, I suppose. Alright. You're just gonna eat two arrows. Or I guess you're gonna eat one arrow. Joyful. What's the quickest way of dealing with them? I don't know if there is a quick way. I never see those. They are so hard to see. Nice job. Oh, wow. Even after a blessing. Alright, now that the Moon Dancer is gone, I can summon my minions safely, right? And then this guy is actually perfectly immune to poison. Very vulnerable to water. Gotcha. Oh, damn! I guess this time he won't destroy my minion at least. Yeah, he heals for 6,000 from his slaves. And his slave didn't automatically die yet of, of his burning. I guess the burning damage is nothing, so I just need to... There's just no point in even attacking him. There's... I need to just pop an arrow into him or something. Um. Um. What are you doing? Fear failed. Very good. And then a rage. So he basically... Oh, you're not gonna hit her! Petrified her! Turn to stone for two turns. Well, shit. I need to take care of this guy. I guess charming him would be a good idea. He did just uh, buff up his damage as much as he could. So now that damage will serve me. Oh, I wanted to kill this slave as well. I guess I can do it with the Joyful later. I, I might as well. I might as well. <laughs> Come on. Alright, now the kinda useless minion is just gonna die. And the kinda useful minion is going to get rid of one more slave. Joyful is graciously going to actually stand up. My blessing is, has run out, so now I have a even lower chance to hit anyone. God, come on, seriously. Just, just, you, you're not gonna miss that now, are you? No, but he's immune. Is he immune to fire as well? Probably. 
Okay, tell you what, because I can't walk through this pile, I'm just gonna, through this uh, ice, I'm just going to teleport and stab. And seriously, seriously, you forced me to do that game. Alright. Now, there's no point attacking him, really. So I'm just gonna be lazy over here until I kill the last slave. I guess I could have attacked the charmed one. Still, the action points will be saved for next turn. Koakuma TV, welcome! Hey there! Welcome to the demon fight! He's been bullying the forest, and now I will punch him in the face because that's what bullies get. And I'm real happy about it. Yeah, people should just teleport. I totally agree with you. Teleporting should be the standard means of transportation, honestly. That's some 50-50 shooting. I wonder if they have different resistances depending on which element they stand in. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do physical. Because that's something tried and true, something I know that works. That's just... Eh, that does it really work. A little. Alright, he's gone. Let's save the rest of my points. Another blessing. And then I guess having nothing better to do... I'll start walking towards this Slave of Torment. Immune to fire, water, earth, air, poison. No, actually no, vulnerable to fire, okay. I'm glad to, I got I'm glad I've checked. But Sun can't do anything against him. Ah, oh, so that's how it works. They are terrified of the element they are standing in. And that's why he's uh, healing from their torment. It makes sense. And now his healing has diminished. Oh, shit! Elementalist. No! Freezing Sun. This has to stop. Yeah, bastard. So I do have some fire for you, my friend. How'd you like some of that? Ah, he kind of doesn't. But it's not gonna... He's not gonna die anytime soon. That's also for sure. So how about I finish off this guy, since I have the action points. Yeah, he's gonna be down for a couple of turns. And while he's down, I don't think uh, Belbereth will summon anyone else. Uh, <laughs> okay. That was... Inaccurate. I'd better kill the guy. I'd better just kill the guy. Maybe a uh, ricochet arrow will pop to another guy. No. Still. It did kill him, guaranteed. Uh, now, if I use the Infectious Flame, it will hit me as well. So I'm just going to rely on my own uh, fire resistance, I guess. Oh, it didn't. Well, oh, that was a funny pattern, alright. 500 damage, that's more than I could deal in other means. Through other means, alright. Now this guy deser deserves some charging into. For sure. I guess the Cyclops are gonna keep me busy until I kill the slaves. Now, since that guy is immune to anything but fire, I guess I need a new decapitator over here anyway. I actually don't want to freeze him. It would increase his armor.
Hmm. It would be nice if you could run out of Cyclops, but I guess it's just wishful thinking. They're gonna be around until I kill them. Unless he will, he will cycle, up, cycle through all the types of Cyclops. And maybe once he runs out, he's not gonna summon anymore. Or maybe he's just gonna start another cycle. We'll see. Come on, if there's a chance to kill him faster, I will take it. Come on! Alright. Yeah, I think he's going down now. Although the chances are... Well, I guess I got lucky once. Yeah. There you go. No more healing for you, son of a gun. Oh no, I'm gonna slip again. Please. 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 Oh. Okay, I didn't slip. The guy stands up. Do I want to kill him? Yeah, I want to kill him. I can take my time with the demon. Let's just kill him. Just make sure he's dead. Mmm, juicy. His resistances are... Oh, wow! Now his resistances are 20 instead of 80! Awesome! I was worried the fight would take forever because of it, but... I guess he lost his protection. And I could use some more protection of my own. Looking at his damage, he brought Madora to half HP in one turn. That is just not very nice. What happened to Balsam? She didn't get her turn. Hmm. Weird. Alright, first things first, let's stun the guy. Failed? Wow, that was a only a 25%. He must have a lot of willpower then. Oh, Joyful's daggers are broken. Shit. Medora is pretty crazy. She deals so much damage these days. The lady really knows how to swing it. And she does need some healing. So there you go. And... Do I want to try any poison? Yeah, I do. I mean, frost. So resistant. So very resistant. He doesn't seem to summon any more Cyclops. Wait, he didn't do anything in his turn. Oh, maybe he just preserved some points. And then he's gonna do something big next turn with all the points stacked up. Maybe that's what he's doing. I hope I'm not gonna stun anyone good other than him. There is a lot of blood on the floor, and I'm just hoping this blood doesn't get electrified. Come on, swing it good! Someone needs to do the, the damage around these parts. Let's see how poison works. Kinda decent, yeah. Decent enough, I would say. Ooh, turning on Joyful. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, he's dead. 
He's dead, isn't he? Why isn't Joyful healing from his own blood? That's my question. Oh. Damn it. That was not nice at all. But now that I've got resurrected Sun, only Sun dying would be a uh, oh, any kind of problem. Oh. I'll just have to skip on some damage with Sun to resurrect Joyful back up, and I will beat up that demon. The rogue class sucks balls. Well, uh, people say I'm not using it properly. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, you know? Oh. And a proper rogue would be powerful. But I'm just doing it wrong. My dagger isn't really the best. Oh, oh I don't think I have a dagger anymore. Oh. And the animations are bugged. healing oh. and I could use the blessing because I have problems hitting him I need a new decapitator never mind what is he gonna do now fear and Medora good Yeah, this fight isn't really the hardest boss fight ever, I would say. Boreas was so much more interesting, and uh, Bracus Rex. This guy is just uh, a multi-layered fight. Need to kill his support before you can take care of him. But once you do it step by step like you're supposed to, it's kind of straightforward. Not much to it at all. I guess Joyful's gonna keep zapping. Since I don't have my daggers. I guess what I could do is send those daggers to Sun and then she will blacksmith them on her turn and then I'm gonna re-equip them. It's not nice to have electricity on the floor. It's just not very nice. People tend to get stunned and then the fight tends to take way longer. He is going down, though. He is going down. Oh. Only one third of him left. Oh. I should be using more silver arrows on him, I think. Lower his armor. Oh. Oh. My daggers are still level 13. So, that could be part of the problem why my rogue isn't the best. I've got Tenebrium daggers, level 15, really good ones. And of course, I failed to learn Tenebrium, so that doesn't really do anything for me. If you choose to fight Aru... That would be a tough fight. Well, Aru is level 20, so I I don't think I'm gonna choose to fight him just yet.
He's not even doing anything. He's just doing fear and and melee. I guess the the goblins were supposed to do the interesting bits, and I just killed them. Yeah. The classic. The the divinity original sin classic. Archer walking up to an enemy. Why am I doing only one hit with the daggers instead of two? That is really weird. And he's stuck in some animation of resurrection. Down you go, Balbareth. Down you go, you son of a gun. Oh, I poisoned Sun. Well, I mean, Balsam. Oh, shit. She shouldn't have come in the first place. Now, do I have a spell that will finish him off? That probably will not. Yeah. Still 100 HP. Okay, but he didn't move this turn. So, bam! Now... Hacksaw Decapitator, that's useless. I don't use these. A rogue, huge pearl. Swamp Prison Key! Magic Runestone! That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I did it! And now, what I'm gonna do before I progress even further in this game is I'm gonna get some food because man I'm hungry I am hungry 